Welcome back to WebCafe AI. We do daily chat WT and AI videos for your personal and business life. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the app of Pinterest and seeing how we can leverage AI and Zapier in this context. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We do a ton of videos when it comes to AI automation and specifically this video you just found is for our playlist where we are going to tackle all 5,000 apps for AI automation. And today we're going to be looking at the app of Pinterest. Let's go ahead and rename this app here and do Pinterest integrations. And what I want to achieve today essentially is when a Instagram story or post is published, we're going to automatically take that Instagram uh, post and then push it towards our Pinterest with a AI generated caption that is optimized for Pinterest. In order to do so, all we need to do is begin. So we're going to go ahead and change our trigger to Instagram. We're going to do Instagram for business because this is what's going to allow us to grab this kind of API trigger. We're gonna go ahead and say new media posted in my account. Make sure you choose the specific Instagram account that you care about in this context. And then we're gonna go ahead and test this trigger. Perfect, so once we have found the specific account we care about, we're gonna test this trigger. And then as you see, we'll be able to grab a lot of the data underlying found in the Instagram posts, such as the image, the caption, the timing, and so on. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and do our first step in order to ensure that we make the best type of Pinterest caption, which is we're gonna format the caption found within Instagram. And the purpose of doing this is because we already have really good hashtags found with the Instagram caption, but I wanna make it so that essentially we grab the hashtags from the Instagram caption, but we make a completely new AI generated Pinterest caption with the Instagram hashtags. This will make more sense as we go along in this tutorial. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and do text as the formatter block. I'm gonna go ahead and transform and we're gonna do uh, segment, not segment. We're gonna go ahead and do split text. And then from here, our input is gonna be the caption found in Instagram. And then we're gonna choose a separator of new line. Let me go ahead. Okay, we'd like that. So we're gonna go new semicolon, new line, semicolon. And then we want to make sure that our segment index is going to be basically creating it all into separate fields. This is going to allow us to grab the underlying caption here and all different data points, essentially, because right now that entire block is one big data point and we don't want to deal with that. All we want from this Instagram caption is either going to be item 10 or item eight. And you're going to see how we're going to leverage that as we go on from this tutorial. For now, let's go ahead and move on and open up our chat GBT block here. We're going to choose conversation continue, continue. And we're going to go ahead and say based off this Instagram caption, and we do semicolon parentheses, and find the caption that we're talking about here. I'm going to say generate an SEO optimized Pinterest title, use a max of seven to 10 words. This is going to add parameters here. We don't want run on sentences. From here, we're gonna go ahead and up our model to GPT-4 as I liked dealing with higher models when it comes to content that individuals are actually gonna read. Then we're gonna use a memory key of pinned uh, post. This is gonna allow for consistency for every single time we post so that, you know, maybe one time you post, there's, a, there's quotation marks. Maybe another time there isn't quotation marks. This is gonna allow it so that every single time you post, it is consistent on its output. Therefore, we see here, we got the vibrant umbrella room, rainbow retreat with colorful canopies and creative ceilings from the original post here. So it definitely follows along the line of the type of uh, Pinterest caption I'm looking for. So there we go. We have our unique Pinterest caption created from the original Instagram caption. From here, we're gonna go ahead and choose Pinterest. And then we're gonna go ahead and do an event of create pin. Continue, choose your Pinterest account. From here, you're gonna choose your board. For us, we'll go ahead and just choose our digital AI art. Then we're gonna choose our image, which in this context would be the image from the Instagram post, which would be media URL. And then we could add a link here. So maybe you want a fixed link here of www.com or www.example.com. So maybe this is your business website. Maybe this is a link tree, whatever that may be. You can add your fixed link there. The title is gonna be the caption in this context. So for us, it's gonna be the vibrant umbrella room. And then what we can do for the description is we can add those hashtags that we formatted here. So we can scroll down here, grab the hashtags, but look at this. We've also formatted other stuff that I could use such as follow web cafe AI, really cool stuff here. And then from here, all I would need to do is test that action. And this should work automatically and push towards our Pinterest board. 
Perfect. So as you see below me, we have the pin title that we just created through AI. We have the description that we formatted out of the Instagram post. And then we have the image itself that was founded in our original Instagram profile. And just to confirm that, as you see, this was the original Instagram post that was created on our Instagram profile. As always, you can find the zap link down below and add that directly to your profile. If you felt like you learned something, make sure to like the video. It's completely free and it helps us here at Cafe AI. Check out the playlist at the end of this video as we are covering all 5,000 apps and seeing how AI can be leveraged for every single one when it comes to Zapier. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.